Personal Life Purpose, el objetivo vital de, la, de las personas, ¿no? Este topic lo he sacado por ti, Janine, mm. porque eh, she likes eh, people, uh, she likes a lot psychology, apparently I talked to her and she told me that she likes psychology and people that talk about self-improvement and motiva motivational advice. Y me recomendó, me recomendó, eh, Janine me recomendó people like eh, Jay Shetty, eh, me recomendó a, a House, eh, ¿cómo se llamaba? Robert House, no. Uh, Lewis House. Lewis, Lewis House, Lewis House Tony y, y Tony Robbins. Ah, y yeah, Tony, Tony Robbins, Robbins, eran los tres, que son tres, tres youtubers uh, y speakers que hablan de self-improvements y, you know, self-worth advice, uh, how, to, how to get your shit together in life, cómo mejorar tu vida en general. Mm. Y un tema que es muy, que sale mucho, es el tema de esto de life purpose. Mm. Because eh, I think it, it really, it's really like, like the beginning of everything, you know? Es como, si sabes lo que quieres, ¿no? Pues ya tu vida te la organizas, ¿no? En torno a eso. Pero claro, mucha gente no sabe lo que quiere. Y creen, y much, de hecho mucha gente vive y se muere sin haber encontrado algo a lo que agarrarse. What do you think about life purpose? Uh, do you think it's it's easy to find? Do you think anyone can find it? How do we find it? Jania. Oh, it's complicated. It's complicated. <laughs> Yo sé que es, it's intense. I know it's, it's an intense thing. But it's like for everyone, life purpose is different. For someone, depends on the thing and culture. For someone, it's to build a family, to have kids, to someone to build a career. For someone, it's to help uh, people in charity. But uh, also, life purpose is... Um, It's like when you can find, you should find your, in what you gifted yeah. in. So you, can, you should find your talent. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy doing it, mm, so that can be your life purpose. But for me personally, also maybe super stereotypically, but for me, life pur purpose is to be mm, a worthy wife and to be a good example as a mom. But for some people, some people think that, oh, what is this, <laughs> yeah. you know? So for everyone it's uh, super difficult, but also um, super different. But I think when you achieve it, it's not like, okay, now I have, I'm wife and I have kids and that's it. No, then it's very important to continue to have something else. else. And I think that the three, there is a very interesting book, which called uh, Too Soon Old and Too Late Smart. And it's written there that there are three Mm, very important components of happiness. It's when you should uh, do something that you love, you should have someone that you love, whom you love, and you should always look forward for something. And these three components, you will you will feel happy. And that's true. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I that's, love it. That's true. I love that thing. So it's not necessarily... What's it? So it's, it's to, uh, to, to have something that you love, yeah. look, have someone that you love. Yeah. That's something that like uh, have something that you like to do uh, and so look forward for something. And look forward for something. It's That's like so also cool. like that you have some goal, you achieve it, and then you stop. It's boring. It, you like this is the the most like interesting um, process is while you're achieving it, and then yeah, you enjoy for some moment, but then you need to something else. So this you achieve, and then you're looking for what else can you do. So yeah, but I think this happiness thing, through components, this is yeah, I think that life. That works the, like this. That's great. I love it. Actually, you know what? Because uh, I have been watching some videos from Jay Shetty oh, uh, from good. from the moment you. Because uh, I did watch some, but mm. like some some I don't know some months ago or something, but I didn't like remember. But when you when I talked to you, you you made me think about it, and then I researched a little a, little, a few videos, and it led me to this other video, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, of course. Matthew. Yeah, they had an interview together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. watched, I watched it, and I want to show the the speech, the Oscar speech, because he mentions one of the th he mentions in a in a different spin mm -hmm. what you what you brought up, mm -hmm. having someone that you love, mm -hmm. uh, having something that you love, and having something to look forward to. That those mm -hmm. three things, you know, that move you every single day. There's a few things, about three things to my account that I need each day. Um, one of them is something to look up to, another is something to look forward to, and another is someone to chase. My hero. The hero. That's who I chase. You know who it is? I said, it's me in 10 years. Aww. Me in 10 That's years. Amazing. Me yeah. in 10 years. And this is great stuff because yeah. it's true. It's yourself, it's who you want to be, it's yourself. 
when you are that guy, then you make up yourself in another 10 years and that and the, and the cycle keeps going, you know? So I turned 25, 10 years later, that same person comes to me and goes, so are you a hero? And I was like, not even close. <laughs> no, no, no. She said, why? I said, because my hero is me at 35. There you go. So you see, every day, every week, every month, and every year of my life, my hero is always 10 years away. I'm never going to be my hero. I'm not. There you go. So that's, that's, that's what I wanted to share. Because he really reminded me of this, of this speech, what you said. And I 100% agree with that. 